The rematch between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark in the NCAA tournament drew over 12 million viewers. With this growing success of women's college basketball, WNBA players and media have started to hate on college players, in particular, Iowa's Caitlin Clark, with articles being written such as Make Basketball Black Again in response to her large fan base. In this video, we are going to look at WNBA players and the media hating on Caitlin Clark. Let's get started. Uh, what do you think about Ice Cube and the Big Three offering Caitlin Clark $5 million to play in their league? Um, well, I have, a, I have a lot of thoughts. But the first one is, so you offered the contract to a player who's not yet even in the WNBA. Mm. Big Three does not happen during overseas season. So that, that doesn't make sense. That's true. And then um, for us to get, like, just constantly shit on... Like, you can't even acknowledge the growth and how amazing the WNBA is, is doing because shit like this happens. When, when you don't even have over? to bring up the W. If you're going to say that it's for that, then stand on that. But I don't think it's for, I think he's trying to make a business decision, which he's a businessman. That makes sense. But to mask it in this, I want to uplift and support WNBA players and women athletes is kind of a cop out, I think. And I don't think it really makes any sense. Right away, we have Lexi Brown hating on Caitlin Clark's $5 million offer from Ice Cube to join the Big Three. Just like we have talked about in previous videos, the best doesn't always get paid the most. Caitlin Clark got that huge offer because she brings in a massive audience that no one in the WNBA could bring in. Not only is Clark a very skilled basketball player, but she's also very entertaining to watch. And that's why Ice Cube would make such a large offer. You asked me about Caitlin. If you're going to break a record, to me, if it's legitimate, you have to break that record in the same amount of time that that player set it. Okay. So if, if Kelsey Plum set that record in four years, mm -hmm. well, Caitlin should have broke that record in four years. But because there's a COVID year, then there's another year, you know what I mean? So she's already had an extra year to break that record. So is it truly a broken record? Yeah, that'll go in the record books as Caitlin Clark is the all-time, whatever it is. I don't even know what the number is, but that's the way it'll be, and, and I don't think it should be. Let's That's also great. talk about um, how much more experience that gives you over other players coming in, right? So people say, dang, like he or she's killing them, but you have a 25-year-old playing against a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like, you, sh you should be killing them, because yeah. you've been doing it a lot longer than they have. Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> I know you like that. Hell yeah. Cheryl Swoops told three big lies in her statements about Caitlin Clark. The first is how many years she played college basketball, implying that she played five years because of COVID. In reality, she's played four, just like Kelsey Plum, and she even broke the record in less games. The second lie is how many shots a game Caitlin Clark takes, saying she takes 40 shots a game. Over the course of her career, Clark has only shot 19 shots a game, which is less than half of what Swoop said. And finally, Swoop said that Caitlin Clark is 25 years old, when in reality, she's only 22. Cheryl would then make a response after being called out for lying. I, I'm going to say this, and then I want to like be done with this whole conversation. So for people to come at me and say that I made those comments because I'm a racist, like first of all, black people can't be racist, but like that's the farthest thing from my mind. Like, I grew up in a very small West Texas town, predominantly white. My best childhood friend is white. So it's important for me that I speak up for people that look like me. Like, it's Black History Month. So, like, our ancestors fought and died for us to have opportunities that we have today. Um, I have like, no issues with Caitlyn, her breaking the record, I think, obviously, is a tremendous accomplishment. Although, you know, we could get into that discussion also, because there was a big debate on Lynette Woodard having yeah. the actual record. I'm not really sure what any of that had to do with her lying, and I like how she still insists that Caitlyn Clark shouldn't have the record she legitimately broke. I know she hasn't played in the WNBA, but our last hater is Jamel Hill. During an interview, Jamel Hill made multiple claims against Clark, saying that the women's basketball audience would be growing with or without Clark. Also mentioning that Clark is only getting so much attention because she's white. That the criticism is often very one-sided. Caitlin Clark talks her sh 
Caitlin Clark is demonstrative. Caitlin Clark, people aren't bothered by that. People aren't by, bothered by it because they're caught up in the narrative of, oh, here's this, you know, wonderful, uh, kin a kind soul from the great state of Iowa representing middle America. So they put all these sort of, we pre what happens in these sports race wars is everybody projects their own shit on the people coming. All of this hate going towards Caitlin Clark from the WNBA doesn't make any sense. WNBA players and the media have been complaining about lack of pay and a small audience forever now. So why would you hate on the biggest prospect of all time? She has the potential to completely change the WNBA. They could make millions from this, but instead, they allow their jealousy to get in the way and complain about the biggest prospect the WNBA has ever seen. It doesn't matter what her skin color is. All that matters is how good she is at basketball and how entertaining she is for the fans. That right there is enough to change the league. But that's all I have for the video. As always, I wanna hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think of WNBA players hating on Caitlin Clark? And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.